it's November in game. So you know that means it's Survivor Series month. And Survivor Series is home to having huge multi-man matches. But you know the only partner Sean needs is Mickie James. So let's see if we get to keep her. And yeah, as usual, I'm not going to read the magazine to try to figure out what that was. So instead, let's check the messages. Survivor Series is right around the corner, and I need to start assembling Raw Survivor Series team. There's one superstar in particular who I wanted to evaluate, so I made a match between the two of you this week. So you're asking the WWE Champion to be the measuring stick for some young talent. That's actually the entire reason Sean is doing this in the first place. Now let's see who that young gun is. What the hell? <laughs> that young gun <laughs> ain't so young. <laughs> Welcome to Smackdown. This don't look like Smackdown to me. Is less than three weeks away. We know. Compadre? As always. Oh, you know he so will. His opponent is in consideration for Raw Survivor Series team. But and why though? No better way to evaluate a superstar than to put him in there against the champ. Absolutely, Jerry. You know, when you want to be, you can be an excellent commentator. <laughs> wow, the commentators aren't talking over his entrance like usual. Well, I guess that means I will. All right, so this match is to evaluate Ric Flair to see if he's got what it takes to be on the Survivor Series team with Shawn Michaels. And speaking of Shawn Michaels, that amazing superstar is going to be evaluating that grandpa right here tonight. And this man just might be the very best in the business. Might be. His preparation for Survivor Series begins here tonight. Yeah, he just got to beat up an old man real quick. Smackdown is going to be at Survivor Series 2. Yeah. And everyone's counting on him to blow them out of the water. Oh, hell yeah. He going to blow them out of the water all right. And he's going to do it with his trusty sweet chin music. Anyways, let's get ready to test out this old timer. For some reason, the coach thinks he's got what it takes. I don't know why, but we got to prove to him that this guy is not the right guy for the team. No disrespect, Flair, but we can't win matches with you lying down in the corner. Now, here we go. Hey, 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 hey. it was a joke. Calm the hell down. I didn't mean it. All right, Sean, hold on. Time out. Time out. Oh, you're going to taunt. Oh, ah, uh, 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 Sean. Get your shit together. Now get in the ring and do something for once. Stop reversing, damn it. Flair, I really hate you right now. I'm gonna do everything in my power to make sure you're not on that Survivor Series team. Now take one of my moves, damn it. No. Okay, good. Here comes the Padnet, DDT. If there's one move you need to take from me, it's the DDT. Now Sean goes up, only to come right back down with a leg drop. Our guy's got that finisher, but it looks like he's gonna wait to use it because he's got something else in mind. Damn it. All right, here we go. And I still don't have a name for this move. So if anybody wants to get in the comment section and give me a name for these three clotheslines, that would be great. And now it's time for the referee's favorite part of the match. Sean's in the corner, backed up on him real close. Referee, is that a roll of quarters in your pocket or are you just happy to see Sean? <laughs> I mean, here comes the sweet chin music. He falls on Rick with a leg hooked. And here we go. This is the end of the match. Now, Flair, after that extensive evaluation, I have to tell you, you failed. For real? Are you trying to call them both ugly, JR? Oh yeah? Since ECW is the most dominant brand of sports ever. Is it? It's Mr. McMahon. No. WWE champ. You can't say that name. Let me remind you that you are standing in my ring. Not anymore. This round zero, mister. Oof. But you know, your boldness has sparked in me a wonderful idea for Survivor Series. What? Now the main event will be a triple threat match. Oh no. WWE World Heavyweight and ECW Champions. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Why are they calling Booker T the WWE Champion when he's not? And where the hell was Sean during all that? Well, wherever he was, we're heading back to the locker room with the knowledge that at Survivor Series, there will be a triple threat match for the WWE World Heavyweight and... Uh, 
ECW Championship. That's right. Uh, I, I always forget about them. <laughs> but wait, that means that whole match with Ric Flair was pointless. Well, okay, I guess. Let's just get ready for Survivor Series where we're going to win all the world titles. Shawn Michaels will be the title collector. All right, so let's check out the magazine first and see if anything's changed. All right, ECW has faith in their champion. Well, I hope you do because that guy represents your brand. I mean, it doesn't mean he's going to beat Shawn, but you got to have some kind of loyalty. Now, what do we got for the messages? Hey, champ, I bet you're not too happy that the chairman of World Wrestling Entertainment is backing your opponent at Survivor Series. Eh. Just wanted to let you know that not every member of the McMahon family feels that way. Oh, you too, huh? First Stephanie and then you. You gonna meet Sean at the altar too? I got news for you, it might not end well. We've gotta get you warmed up for your big match at Survivor Series, champ. I'm throwing you right in the fire this week. You're in a non-title match against the World Heavyweight Champion Booker T. Represent Raw and take advantage of the chance to peep the competent, peep the competent, what the, what does that mean? Somebody let me know if they've ever heard that before because I haven't. Sounds kind of dirty. Listen, I'm going to inherit this company from my old man someday, right? No. So why should I wait for him to decide to retire? If he beat my father's favorite at Survivor Series, then maybe the great Vince McMahon will lose some of his appetite for the business. Listen, I've lined up someone who might be able to help you. He'll be giving you a call. Oh, you trying to hook Sean up with somebody else, huh? Is it Johnny Nitro by chance? How about Chris Masters? I'll take either one. Although, I'm leaning more towards the masterpiece than the other one. Now here we go, King Booker versus the Heartbreak Kid. And Sean's no longer the king because he doesn't have a queen. Survivor Series is less than two weeks away. We know. JR, who told you I was your friend and or neighbor? I didn't. Hell yeah. It's going to be good. What? He will. I hope you're right. This could get embarrassing in a hurry if he doesn't. Why are you always doubting this man? He's one of the greatest superstars in sports entertainment today. That's damn true. SmackDown's highest honor. And you know he wouldn't come to Raw if he didn't think he had a shot at making our champ look second rate. Well, I'm sure that's what he thought, but he thought wrong. Oh. Oh. Yeah. All hail. King Booker. All hail. King Booker. Ah, this takes me back so much. I always love this gimmick. It's just too bad for him that he's going to run into the undefeated WWE champion. You hear that, Jerry? No problem. Nah, no problem at all. Remember, you can stack the deck against Sean however you want to, but nobody beats the Heartbreak Kid. He beats you and then your girlfriend in that order. Now let's get this going. Hey, Booker, you've got a wife, don't you? <laughs> okay, never mind. Let's focus on this match. It's the WWE Champion versus the World Heavyweight Champion. Now it's time to fly. Sean's coming off the top rope with a leg drop. Oh, yeah, Booker, you call yourself a king, but even kings can suck it. You hear that, Jerry? Sean's stand on the offense. He's just one move away from getting a finisher, but Booker T won't let him have it. And a follow-up that's reversed. Get out of here with that shit. Neckbreaker drop. And Sean. Aw. I thought he was going for it right there. Sean Michaels got something else in mind for this man. He's going to give you something to take back to SmackDown to make sure none of y'all think y'all are going to beat him at Survivor Series. That's right. These three close lines. And now give him the last one and make it hurt. Now, Booker, you call yourself a king and a world champion, but I... Okay, let me try that again. You call yourself a king and a world champ. I okay, dude, you just suck. Damn, Sean face plants him. The king's already got an orange head. And Sean, no, no. He reversed the scissors kick, but not this time. Give it to him, Sean. 
give him a taste of his own medicine. Sean's stuck in midair. Holy shit. The scissors kick. Uh, no spinner Rooney. What the hell? All right, Booker, sell your own move. Will this be a, aw, oh, dude. No wonder why you don't win with the move. You don't even sell it. All right, Booker T slow to get up to his feet. And Sean with the control. Give him one good move, champ. Here we go. The sleeper slam. Sean's got that finisher. Booker T's got that red head. And will we see it? No, we won't. Sean goes for the cover. Will he get it? And yes, he does. He beat the world heavyweight champion and did not have to give him the sweet chin music. Who cares? Absolutely. Hell yeah. Uh, no. Our champion feels the same way. Raw's got to come out on top at Survivor Series. We've just got to. Raw always comes out on top when Sean is representing it. You've never once had to doubt Sean on that because he's undefeated and you're champion. So, King, instead of doubting him like you always do, how about you shut the hell up and just get on his bandwagon? 